myself, but I must acknowledge MP, I still call him my MP, Fasil Karim. Pleasant night. I say assalamu alaikum to all the Muslims and the non-Muslims. I greet you the peace and salutation of peace, love, and unity. So, they said this is a, this is not a funeral service, right? Well then, let me make some noise for God first that we are alive and we are here to condemn all violence, to raise your candles. And we want to say it again. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough killing. Enough lying. Enough cheating. And they tell us, the TTPS say, when you see something, say something. So when we see something wrong, we're going to say something. And we must not lose our life for talking what we see and say. Keep your candles in the air. Because beside the life that is being lost daily with our young women, our sisters, our mothers, our wife, our niece, our friends, our colleagues, it have other issues that we don't want to address. But since I'm not going to talk about it tonight on this platform. Right is right and wrong is wrong. To save a life we must see and say something. Enough is enough. We have our men here, you all supposed to be our providers and our protectors, not our murderers. All are supposed to be our lovers, not our killers. All are supposed to be our brothers, to look and mentor us, not to destroy us. Enough is enough. And the men, the mothers, we to blame too. Because sometimes our sons are involved in the wrong thing, we don't say nothing. Sometimes we actually send them out because of situations. Tonight is not the blaming game, it's the reality check. We have to go check, check, check because our families are at stake. If you have a strong family, you have a strong community. And if you have a strong community, you have a strong country. And the death rate going to go down lower because then we could talk and communicate as families it has nothing to do with a single mother because many single mothers here have good children they're not murderers yes yes it has mothers and fathers living in the same house and there are murderers there yes? yes so then we talk about the bigger issues what are the values why it is that women are being the victims all the time why it is we don't talk about equal opportunity, not that the woman has to be better than the man, but we have to learn to communicate and live together in harmony. What about the different religions that don't talk about the issues of incest, rape, both male and female? We take our children and we send them to YTC. And when they get raped as young men, they're coming out to do what? Hurting people hurt people. And unfortunately, the men hurt the women. Because on their side, we might be the weaker vessel. But I say tonight, raise your candles. Enough is enough. Woman, you are powerful. And use your power for good. Let us grow up our children in the right way. Talk to them. Don't condemn the man. Condemn the behavior. Because today, I might be a sinner, and within seconds, I'm a believer. So let us not condemn that individual. But let us look at the bigger picture to come together. We are stronger together. Let's tackle this issue head on. Let us have conversation on every platform that addresses the underlying root causes about some homes don't have no money. And if a young man is being hurt and he's being raped, when we send him to one of our correction facility, or you go in a classroom and they call him dunce because he's not academically inclined, because we don't want to teach them trade, what you expect in the society? What you expect when you want the attention? What you expect when he's rejected by you and I that we feel we're better than? Andrea, Ashanti. And the others. Let me be real. We talk God, but how much?
much of us really live a godly life. Because God don't talk about division. One God, many different ways we choose to serve. We don't have a problem with that. But every single religion talks about family. It talks about being your brother's keeper. It talks about the value of women in our society. It talks about how to treat your wife, your mother, your daughter, your sister, and your neighbor. So if we do what our religion tells us, would we have as many as you used to face today? No. So women, you are indeed powerful. And men, you are our keepers, our protectors, our supporters, our guiders. We're supposed to lean on you. Because that's why God didn't take us from your head. He take us from your rib. Because we are pillars for you. With a weak shoulder, your head can't stand. So we women, we have strength. Use your strength. Use your voice. Get pen and paper and write and advocate for change and policies. Advocate change and issues. Talk out wherever you are and don't be afraid. Because God did not give us a spirit of fear. I tell you something tonight before I leave the platform. When God created mankind, he did not create Sensi Marva alone. So Marva alone, Andre alone, Ashanti alone, and all the others facing the same issues that you and I face on a daily basis. All the religious leaders, when they stand on the pulpit and preach, they ain't preaching for no one individual. They're sending a message to the whole of mankind. And if the whole of mankind we're talking to, then we have to come together to solve the issues that mankind is facing. And it's not overnight. It's not going to solve in one minute. It's not going to solve in one day. But what are you going to do? We could start the ball rolling and come together and put aside our differences. Because when the murderer come, or if you come, it ain't saying because you're dark and you have on a hijab and your glasses, I'm gonna attack you. Because when they knock on your door, whoever on that other end going to get the pressure. Yes? So raise your, um, your candles. We ask in God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth and all that dwells, to send his angels to the four corners of our country and unto the bounding center. He said, call upon him and he shall answer. He said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. Call upon me and I shall answer. We ask in God to protect not only the women, but every single human being that is on this earth. We call for and all. We ask God to touch the criminals exactly where they are so they could change their behavior and become a model and a testimony for God. Because God Almighty, he is powerful. We ask in God Almighty to descend right now as we speak and comfort the comfortless. All those who are sick and sad to bring joy in the heart. And look at this moment that we are going through our country, not only as a testimony, but oh my God, as I elevation as the eagle. Merciful Father God, I ask for blessing upon all that are here tonight. And all the families that lost loved ones. You are the comforter. You are the storm calmer. They said call upon you and you shall calm that storm. Merciful Father, I ask you God for your grace and your mercy tonight. I ask you for to touch every single heart. To open every door and every window, every still, every boy and every girl, every husband and wife, men today because you are the mender. You are the most merciful. You are all seeing and all knowing. You know exactly how we feel and why we're doing what is this. Let us see what is happening for good because out of Andrew and all of the deaths, God, we are here today to give you praise and acknowledge that with all of us, we can make the difference. We thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy. And I say, everybody say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Sensei Mama, for those lovely words. I know I touched my hands and I'm sure I touched all of your hands. It's a pleasant day, but this gathering is nothing pleasant, but to highlight the failure to protect women in this country and the failure to teach others respect in this country. 
standing in front of you, I can say that this is nothing new. But it really is a period of enlightenment. Emerge more Thank you. 